intention is your intention to still move ahead with made for mental illness just within a longer time frame? That's correct. I mean, the 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 issue here is again not whether or not somebody look. We're we're talking about there are people who have for decades been trapped in mental uh, torture, uh, being in a horrific situation where they have tried everything and exhausted all avenues, and under their own recognizance are saying that they want access to MAID. It's clear from the conversations we have that the system is at this time not ready and therefore need more time. Was it irresponsible, was it irresponsible of you, though, to pass this legislation when you now know that the system is not ready for it? Well, absolutely not. I think this is a hard conversation. Uh, you know, when you look at the people who are suffering uh, and who are asking for this relief, um, we take that deeply seriously. I can tell you, when I became health minister uh, six months ago, the experts I was speaking to were saying, the system was ready. Can I just can I just add on that point? So the autonomy of the individual in terms of dignified decisions about their, the timing of their own passing, coupled with protecting vulnerable communities, vulnerable individuals, that's the balance we've always tried to strike. The government's decision to expand the medical assistance in dying, made, programmed to include mental illness without ensuring readiness, has raised concerns about potential severe consequences. The responsibility of passing legislation without adequate preparation is questioned, especially concerning sensitive issues like assisted suicide, where human life is at stake. Thorough planning and preparation are emphasized before implementing such a transformative change, prompting inquiries into broader social structures. The acknowledgement of the system's inadequacy exacerbates Canada's doctor shortage, attributed to the failure of the socialist health system to attract outstanding medical professionals. Meticulous planning highlights individual autonomy, stressing the right to make decisions about one's life within a well-prepared and responsible system. Concerns arise about balancing individual autonomy with safeguarding vulnerable communities, prompting questions about the government's adequacy in addressing potential risks and consequences for those considering assisted suicide. The removal of the word overcoming from the narrative of human life by the Trudeau government adds complexity to the ongoing discourse about mental health challenges.